This feels so weird, like not holding a mirror. Oh, oh my god. Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I will be doing a get ready with no mirror challenge. So basically, I'm going to get ready without a mirror and then you guys are going to watch me feel horribly. So if you want to find out how terrible this will turn out, just make sure to keep on watching. Let me know if you like this video down below and make sure to hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already and make sure to turn on that post notification button so that you are notified every single time I drop a brand new video. And don't forget to enter my recent Amrezi palette giveaway that I did about a week and a half ago. I think it ends next Friday, so make sure you guys go join that so you guys go in that. Boom. All right. So how this is going to work, basically, the camera is in front of me. So it's literally impossible for me to not be able to see myself completely. But I still can't really see because like I really need a mirror to like see good. So I have like an outline of what I look like, but I'm not. That's still cheating though. Whatever. <laughs> Just no mirror in my hand. This shit's going to suck. Yeah, let's go right in. So usually I start off with eyes recently because it's just been a lot easier so that I don't have to redo my face or anything. So as usual, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot in the shade Laying Low. And I'm just gonna use that all over my lids. Yeah, even, even like this is weird. Like I always use a mirror for this. <laughs> I just have to guess where it's gonna go. And how do I know if it looks good blended out? Oh my God, this is gonna be a mess. I'm just gonna have to feel it out. How do blind people do their makeup? All right, so I'm just laying this down on my eye. Oh God, <laughs> I can't see anything. Since I can't tell how bad of a job I did at laying that down, I'm just gonna take a little beauty blender and blend that out. Damn, you guys can't make fun of me for this shit. All right, ready? Today I'm gonna be going in with the James Charles palette. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do something basic cause I can't even see. So I'm going to take my Scott Barnes number 62 brush and I'm going to dip into the first shade and I have no idea what the shades are called because I lost the paper to this. <laughs> and if you don't have this palette, the shades don't come like written on the palette for some reason. They come on this flap that I threw out. So whatever the first shade is, this one. Anyways, I'm going to go in with that first shade and I'm just going to lay that down on my lids. And we're going to hope that this looks good because I can't see anything. This feels so weird, like not holding a mirror. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I can't see shit. Okay, this is so weird. <laughs> I don't know at all what I'm doing. This sucks. Imagine, imagine we never invented a mirror. Okay, so. Whatever this looks like. I'm just gonna deepen it up a little bit with this shade because it's kind of already going there. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. Okay, I'm so blind. <laughs> I literally can't see a thing. I don't know why. Hopefully this looks good because I don't know what this looks like right now. I'm just scared that they don't look even like at all. I have no idea how that looks. So now I'm just gonna go in with the duochrome color and I'm gonna lay that on my lid with my finger. Okay, so I just finished up that. So now usually I just go in with like um, a wipe and I just clean, especially if I go in with a glitter, I just clean up my corner and like under my eyes. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do for the eyes cause I can't see anything and I think if I go any more than that, it's gonna get worse. I can't do a liner, I cannot do a wing, I can't do anything. And I think if anything, you know, I did a basic transition shade to a darker burgundy with a nice dual chrome on top. If anything, it will look amazing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, glitters like herpes, that shit's everywhere. Next, I'm gonna go in with contouring like I usually do. This I don't think is gonna be a problem because I already kind of know the shape of my face and I know where to contour and I can do it without looking. But still, regardless. See, like I know where my jawline is. I know where my ear is. The only thing that will be affected is blendability because <laughs> I won't be able to see. But for like what I did for my eyes, I kind of just blended it to death because I'm like, oh, I can't see, so I might as well blend to death. Better safe than sorry. And I'm just going to take my Morphe M459. See, 
see like I already know where to chisel my jaws so that's good you know and next I'm just gonna go in with the Morphe M508 and I'm just gonna use this to do my nose contour all right this is gonna be hard because I do use a mirror for my nose contour Fuck. all right let's um hope for the best oh god I'm scared I'm really scared okay I'm just following my nose. This is where the beauty blender is going to become my best friend. Next, I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Magic Star Concealer. <laughs> I probably look like a clown right now. I'm just going to do the three on my forehead. Oh my god, is that straight? <laughs> oh my god, and then I'm going to go under my eyes. I don't even know if I'm getting it close to my eyes or not. Oh my god. A little bit on my chin, and now I'm just gonna blend that out. Now that my concealer is done, I'm gonna go in with my Scott Barn, my number 68 brush, and I'm just gonna go in with my NARS foundation, like I usually do, and I'm just gonna put that all over my face. So I'm gonna just place it with the beauty blender first, because I can't see, and then I'm gonna blend out with the brush. And now I'm just gonna take a uh, Morphe sponge and I'm just gonna spray it with some prep and spray Morphe spray and I'm just gonna bounce in the rest of my face because I kind of can't see anything so I'm just hoping that it's all gonna be blended. Next I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder and I'm just gonna put it under my eyes a bit to, you know, set as usual. I'm just gonna take my Scott Barnes number 64 brush, wipe that away. And now I'm just going to go in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and set my whole face. Next, I'm going to go in with my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I'm just going to do my top lashes because I'm scared to do my bottom lashes. I'm scared to do my top lashes. Alright, here we go. Pray for me. Oh my god. Seriously? This is so hard. Oh my god. I'm so scared. Ah. Uh, oh my god. I almost got him. <laughs> so, I gave myself a beauty mark with the f***ing mascara. <laughs> I'm just gonna wipe it off and put some concealer there again. So, now that the mascara mess is over with, since we're already here, I'm just gonna smoke out my lower lash. I'm gonna be so careful. And I'm just gonna go in with that same transition shade under my eye. And then just a little bit of that right again. Okay, so there. I blended out my lower eye that I cannot see. So now, I'm gonna go in with a blush. I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills blush. I'm just gonna take my Scott Barnes number 64 brush again. I'm just gonna dip into my favorite shade. And just add, oh, this has a mirror in it. I almost cheated. I went to look right at the mirror. Force of habit. All right, here we go. probably put way too much blush let's hope not I'm gonna go in with my Scott Barnes number 66 brush and I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill highlighter palette again this has a mirror so I'm not gonna look at it this time I won't look at the mirror I'm gonna go in with ice like I usually do and I'm just gonna on the high bones of my cheek oh fuck. that's probably a lot I mean I already do too much highlight with the mirror so imagine without Alrighty then, we've already done all that, so now I'm gonna do my brows. I'm just gonna go in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm gonna spoolie on my brows. I'm not gonna fill them in because f that, because I would f it up so much. My eyebrows are already super thick, so they'll be good on their own. I'm not gonna do lashes because f that. Imagine I try to f do lashes. Yeah, I'm gonna mess up. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Now we just do a lip and set the face and we're done. I don't know what any of this looks like, but the color I went in with is kind of close to this and it kind of matches with my sweater. So I'm just going to go in with this on the lips. Oh, sorry. This is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, Clout from the Holiday Collection. This is going to be hard. I'm just going to go for it. Oh my God. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't look bad. Okay, the lip color, I think, is really what made it go from, like, we were here, and now it just went, like, but it's whatever. We're gonna top it off with a gloss, and, yeah, I think we're almost about to be done. I'm just gonna do some settings for and we're gonna be all done. Yeah, and this is the completed look without me using a mirror or anything like that. 
All right, ready? I'm ready for the review. Let's see. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, whoa, I like it. Uh, the lips don't match with my eyes at all. And it looks like I got, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> but this is a bold, imagine somebody just pulls up, like you pull up to the, to the ER and they're like, how can I help you? <laughs> you can't stop looking at their lips. <laughs> I look, my lips look like tinfoil. <laughs> it looks like I got f by Bender. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this is insane. Wow. I mean, I thought it was gonna be worse. I'm not even mad at the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow looks like I honestly did a good job, but that's what I was going for. The lower lid is terrible. It looks like I just placed it anyway. <laughs> wow, and over here I needed to blend more, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's see under my chin. Not too bad. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just something a little bit fun. Make sure you guys check out Deke of the Podcast. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Our episode this week is Deke of the One About Jade. He is my brother and he was our first guest star. It is a month since we have started the podcast, so I hope you guys go check that out and enjoy that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> Seriously, it looks like, I don't know. I look fucking insane. Why do you call this color clout? Where would you, where? Please leave in the comments down below where I would go with the look like this. <laughs> Futurama convention. Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to today's video. I'm going to be doing a quick glam tutorial. So if you guys want to see how I use makeup on an everyday basis, make sure to keep on watching for my tips and techniques. Let me know if you like this video down below and also make sure to hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm and, and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time I drop a brand new video. But yeah, don't forget to enter my most recent giveaway. You can check my Instagram for all the details and how to enter and everything like that. I believe it ends on February 14th on Valentine's Day. So you guys still have like 10 more days, I think. So yeah, we're so usually I would probably go in with something like a, well, NYX Professional Makeup Honey Do Me Up Primer. But since I'm doing something more of like an everyday quick glam, like when you go to work or something or school or something like that, you don't really need to use a primer like that for your whole entire face because you might not put product on your whole entire face like that. So first I'm just gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Hydro Water Stick. And I'm just gonna put that under my eyes for depuffing and just also cooling. Um, I usually get bags under my eyes, so this really helps kind of get rid of them. I usually do this in the morning before I go to work. It's really quick. It's obviously it's not going to completely dip off your eye, but it makes some of a difference, which is pretty nice, you know? So you just put this under your eyes like this. Um, some people say like it doesn't feel that cooling, like when you rub it on. And I think it's partly cooling there, but I think most of the cooling effect really starts working after. So after you kind of just like finish rubbing that in. And you kind of rub that into your under eyes. And I think once after you do that and you let it kind of, you let it sit there on your under eyes, it cools a lot more. Like it gets really cold, like with the air. I don't know. It's kind of like when you're chewing gum and you drink water, <laughs> but on your under eyes. I feel like if it had mint in the formula, it would be very like, like how do I, like very tightening or something like that, which would be very good. But I mean, for the under eyes, I'm not mad at it. It works out pretty good. Then I'm just gonna go in with my Mario Badescu facial spray. So instead of using the Honey Do Me Up, I would just use this. This is much better of a primer just for every day. 